I, I, I greet you again in the name of Jesus. What I'm going to do is uh, I am going to contend once more for the faith. This comes from the heartbeat of heaven and hell. Uh, this is no longer business as usual. This is about death and life, heaven or hell, eternity in hell or eternity in heaven. So today, what I'm going to do, I am going to examine this man's teaching compared to what he is trying to do, trying to correct other ministers. He purports to be wrong, but they are not. Now, when you want to correct others, you see what I am doing, if you have got an inclination that what I will say in this video, I am wrong, I give you the right to correct me, to take a Bible, correct me from scripture, and post it to me. And if I am wrong and you are right, I will thank you and I will continue talking to you. I will not quarrel with you. Now, let me put it this let me put it this way to you. As a disclaimer, what he is doing, examining what so-called preachers do and say, is not bad. But his problem is that he wants to correct people. He says are wrong when he is worse. How do you correct someone you say is wrong when you are worse than the person you are trying to correct? So, no, so now in this case, he is trying to correct Pastor uh, Charamba and wife. And it, they have not preached any heresy. They were just singing a song coming from Matthew 25 about the virgins who were supposed to buy oil. Yes, to buy oil. So that when the bridegroom comes, they will be having oil. So now, I want you to listen to this. He is trying to correct someone. He claims to be in heresy. When he is the one who is a heretic. Listen to this. Listen to this. South the Charambas. The purpose is to bring awakening to the Charambas. Perhaps God willing. He will touch their heart. To actually realize that the light of the true gospel has not shined in their hearts until now. Okay, let me pause. I know that okay. Mr. He is saying Olivia Charamba and Charles Charamba are singing what they don't know. The light of the gospel has not come in their life, meaning they are lost. Let's take him there. Charamba was a pastor in the apostolic fighting mission. When the fighting intensified, he left, which was the right thing to do. Leaving AFM was the right thing for Charamba to do. But starting a ministry was not the right thing. Okay, did you hear that? Charamba. You said uh, Charles Charamba and Olivia Charamba. They left the AFM, the African Fighting Church. And... When the people in AF were fighting and Charles Sharamba and wife left, they did the right thing. But he was not supposed to start a church. Who is he to tell someone whether to start a church or not? What mandate, what right, what authority does he have to say, you start a church, you don't start a church? Given what we are seeing with his confused cult and his perverse teachings, this is the last person to tell Charles Charamba not to start a church because he is worse, 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 worse than the Charambas. Let's continue. Charamba does not have a pastoral ministry to preach the word of God, at least for now. Go and listen to his messages. He's trying very hard. But you can tell that he doesn't have the grace of the Lord. Mm. to push the agenda of Christ 
and declare sound doctrine. Now, these are the words of a man who is preaching about Barika. These are the words of a man correcting another pastor. This is the same man who says if a woman cannot have sons in a marriage, she must be divorced or a second wife must be brought in the family who can bear sons in the family. And he has the curtis and the guts to try to correct Charles Charamba. Let's take him. That enhances faith in the hearts of people to their own salvation. But let us not go into his ministry as a pastor. I want us to look into the songs they have sung. And I want you to listen to the lyrics. And this is why I say, as a musician, I admire him. But as a gospel musician, I don't. Mm -hmm. Because the content of his songs is wrong. Yes. Mm. Erratic and erroneous. Now there is a musician... Okay, I want to skip uh, this part. I will skip this part. What is his name? Let, me, let me try to go to... to, to, to 10. Mm. I want to skip this part. Okay, let me skip here. I'll go down there. To a bit wachino, chisina value. Mm. What is the value of what you have lost to thieves? No sense, zero. The song is titled Tengai Mafuta. Okay. It was my charamba who sang this song. And when she sang this song, she was preaching or singing from Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. The translation of the song is buy oil before the bridegroom arrives. And this is the subject of contention with us tonight. The song is heretic. Okay. And I will show. You heard him. So now he is quoting Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. Do you know when it comes to the word of God, he is one of the easiest, the easiest people to convince because he knows nothing. Now, what is his problem? His problem is, he is saying, my, my Charamba and Charles Charamba, they are singing heresy about Matthew 25, starting from verse 1 to verse 9, where they are talking about the ten virgins the five foolish ones who were supposed to go and buy oil. That is his bone of contention. She tell her talent. Kana zichuya pane iri. Pora. Pana zaunu zina. Iri. Ende kana nishiti pora andisi kudaku tindi nitari zeru ziburu wangu pamsuru paku. Ndinodaku zita norudo urgoguti utende uke. Now, when I am saying Pora Shokuramari Ausatuari understand, I am not saying this as a show of. Now, as you heard, he is saying Charles Charamba and Olivia Charamba. And as far as Matthew 25, they are singing heresy. Let's take him. Show you how it is heretic. Remember, we read Hebrews 5, which says. If you are an adult in faith, mm -hmm. huh? Yes. If and you, uh, you know, age. he is always saying, uh, Makandiwa has got parrots in his studio. I, 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 one day I'm going to make a, 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 a video about Makandiwa versus Talent Chiwenga's parrots. Just laugh about the parrots. What say, yes, Papa, am I? Yes, am I? The others, Makandiwa's parrots, they say, yes, Father. We are with you, Father. Now his parents are saying, yes, am I? Yes, am I? And you look at it. Where is the difference? Zero. <laughs> Zero difference. Now listen to this. Oh, by reason of use, your senses are exercised. Yeah. You are able to... They are just going, yeah, yeah, these two men. But if you are not, you will actually not see that this song is heretic. It's not... It encourages people to buy oil before the bridegroom arrives. What is his problem? 
What is his problem? He concludes by saying the song is heretic. Why? He does not understand a parable. Like, let me put it this way. All my videos, about 67 I've made about him, I've come with scripture, direct scripture. Not a single day did he come out in the open and challenge me. Because I was Now, I will put it again to you people of God that he does not understand a parable. So he thinks that Charles Charamba and Olivia Charamba are singing doctrine. When they are just singing a song derived from a parable. Now, he is saying Olivia and Charles are concluding preaching errors in the sense that they are saying the virgins were a doctrine which takes people to hell or to heaven depending on whether they bought or they didn't buy oil. So now he doesn't understand that Jesus is saying the kingdom of God is like, is compared to a. Now he thinks that when finally Charles and Olivia are singing about the parable of the virgins, they are preaching a sermon which says, go and buy oil. Salvation is bought. That is what he's trying to imply. I will not cut him. Let him continue. Listen to this. What if Chiwenga tells you tonight that the scripture does not encourage people to buy oil yes. before the bridegroom arrives? <laughs> Actually, the opposite was true. Yes. But let's listen. listen to the song first. Okay, I will cut him. Now he has gone to the song. The song is going to be sung. I will not waste my time. Let me go seven minutes ahead. Which one is more expensive? Okay, let me just go to 20 minutes. Okay, just one minute with me and then I'll be done. Where he starts. Okay, I'll start from verse 20, from 21 so that you understand. So we saw he is saying, Charles and Olivia, they are singing heresy based on Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 9, the five foolish virgins. Now, what I have said to you is, you don't construct a doctrine from a parable or from a simile. So, the doctrine which he claims Charles Charamba is preaching, is not a doctrine. He is singing from a parable. So he didn't take it as a, a, a as doctrine. That's where his confusion comes. So now he thinks every time, that's why he see that even most of the times when he reads a parable, he, he calls himself a mother because he didn't even understand the parable. He didn't understand a simile, a similitude. He didn't understand that, that there's a difference between a subject and what it connotes to. When I say Majita Shumba, or I say you are of the lion of the tribe of Judah, I am not saying you are a lion. I am making a comparison. That's what he doesn't understand. So now he doesn't understand that a parable conveys a message, but the parable is not the message. If I may put it that way. So listen to him. In any case, between the lamp and oil, in your opinion, which one should be more expensive? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, so the parrots are laughing. Lamps in our, in our homes, for an example. If you go into a hardware and buy a paraffin lamp... Yeah. Can it, can it be cheaper than the paraffin? What is his argument? His argument is saying is, is uh, when the ten virgins went to meet the bridegroom, the five wise ones did not buy oil. Very funny indeed. According to the parable, they bought the oil. And in verse 9, you see, Matthew 25, verse 9, let me read. The, 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 the five wise ones say to the foolish ones, go and buy to those who sell. And I just go to Matthew 25, verse 9. It says, go and buy 
to those who sell. Now, he is, what he is trying to say is, salvation is not bought. And he thinks that when Charles Charamba and Olivia are singing about buying oil, they are saying salvation is bought. That is his confusion. So, Terera. Let's use it as an example of a car. Mm -hmm. Between a fuel and a car, which one is more expensive? Listen, he says nothing. So if the car is for free, you only have to take it and not buy it. Why buy the oil? <laughs> we are still inquiring. Yes. We haven't arrived at any conclusion. Yes. But we are wondering, why is there no buying of, pay of lamps? Yes. But then we sing about buying oil. What happens to those who have bought oil but they have not bought lamps? You, you see, he is bringing something which is neither here nor there. This is a parable showing virgins. Now I will explain. You, you know the reason why I went like Kukwira Gomo Upoterera. I was not straight. I wanted to show you his predestination, his Calvinistic uh, interpretation of the verses. Matthew 25 verse 1 to 9. That He thinks that when the Bible says buy oil, he's saying salvation is bought. Now I want to read some verses. So that I explore and, and, and expose his false and empty theology. Revelation 3 verse 18, Italian Chiwenga Terera. Salvation I think we as you know compare one Revelation 3 verse 18. Listen to this. So that you think that salvation is bought. No. I want. Terera. I cancel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire that you may be rich. So you see, this is not saying when you want to go to heaven, you must buy things from God. This is a parable. This is a simile. A word which is used to compare a subject to the particular thing which is happening. Kuti, gushungo maita shumba, shumba inobomba. Atisikura wati kana wazi shumba inobomba, wawene mazino. So now we see here, gold, which takes a person to heaven, is bought in a revelation cream. Not because the salvation is bought or sold, but it's a what? A way of expressing a, a, a statement, a paradox, if I may put it that way, where you are told, and I muno tenga ruponeso. I go see what the ruponeso muno tenga so not Jesus. They are just showing you that in as much as you buy a car, you buy a house, you need to buy salvation, not because you are going to pay money, but it's an important asset in your life. So now, Revelation 3.18 says, go and buy gold so that you can what? You can have eternal life. And then I want to show you something. Isaiah 55 verse 1. Oh, everyone that thirsty, come ye to the waters. And he that has no man, he that has no man, Come ye, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without any man. So do you see now that the buying which is shown in Isaiah 55 verse 1, you are buying with no money. This is the same concept with the parable of the ten virgins. In verse, 50, in verse 9, the five wise virgins say to the foolish ones, go for yourselves and buy. I see. I told you, 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 Now, what is my case? My case is that he doesn't understand a parable. So he thinks my Charamba and Mr. Charamba constructed their theology from a parable. They are, by, they are, they are preaching that salvation is for sale. That is what he thinks. Let him continue. Make it to the wedding. Kuneva chatenga mafuta sejo kapari tuwa na mai charamba. Basi na ungeva tenga marambi. Ani nzwa. Bache tuwa say. 
Bonne pindere. I don't. So the foolish ones, they do not buy the lambs. Yes. They only took the lambs. Yes. But the Bible says the foolish ones took no oil with them. Mm -hmm. They took oil. I, it doesn't say they did not took, take oil with them. They took oil, but the period when they were waiting for the bridegroom and the coming of the bridegroom, their lamp ran out. What is the message about the ten and the five holy? What is the message about the five wise virgins and the message about the five foolish virgins? And we see, see, what is the message? The kingdom of God is like ten virgins. Five were foolish, five were wise. What is the message? Ten virgins are virgins. Five foolish virgins are still virgins. Jesus. Now I am going to the tip of the story so that he understands. People backslide talent. Because he teaches that people don't backslide. Now what is the image or the connotation of oil in the Bible? Oil stands for the Holy Spirit. Now the five foolish virgins, they had, veg, they had oil originally, but it ran out. Yaka pera, yaka expire. Zishirewa uti chikristu shino kwanza ku expire. Mwayam chene uno expire. I know, datanga emu ya uta unzi wisisi. Ah, uno vato, wato dzungu za msoro ne mbuzi za koti. Maiwe, maiwe, maiwe. Dochi icho ucho. Let me show you something. If you want to understand the message of the five foolish virgins and the message about the five wise virgins. Start from chapter 24. What is Jesus talking about? Could you understand? Let me go to Matthew 24 so that you understand. Jesus is talking about going back. The message about the five foolish virgins, they were still virgins, but they were foolish in that they backslid. A virgin is someone who does not know a man. Zishire Rava Kamira Christu. As you kwenda kudenga wana kuzenda nuti oiri yaga pera. No zo singa nzgisi si zozo. No pa uno manya ne zungu chibi usinga nzgisi si kuti aiwa. As you kure wa zo uru funga zozo. Now Matthew chapter 24. Before we get to 25 so that we understand what we are dealing with. Pastor Charles Charamba and my Charamba, they are 100% correct in their song. And their music is nice and I like it. Apana chaka ipane music yao. Let me go to Matthew 24, verse 45. What is Jesus talking about? Matthew 24, verse 45. So that you understand Matthew 25, verse 1 about virgins. If you understand Matthew 24, verse 45, then you will understand the issue of the virgins. Listen to this. Therefore, be ye also ready. Karai maka gazirira. Why? My virgins aka gazirira at one point as oily kapea. So now listen to this, verse 45. Okay, verse 4. Verse 44, therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man comes. Verse 45, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant, verse 46, whom his Lord when he comes shall find so doing. Akamuka is away. Verse 47. I say to you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming. This is a picture of somebody who was saved. But he says, ah, Jesus Shayarin, let me go back to the world. This is the picture. This is the picture of the five virgins who had oil at one time and it ran out because of time. So Jesus is making or giving an, a parable about persisting consistently in the things of God. Usa zogere sure. Uka wani kwa wangu 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 wang
was not ah just when you know oh, Jesus is not coming back. Let me go and be. listen to this. Let me not preempt my life myself. Verse 50, verse 47. Verily I say to you that he shall make him ruler over his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delays. Verse 48. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and to drink with the drunkards. So you see that originally this person was not drinking. He was not a drunkard. He was standing waiting for God or waiting for Jesus to return. But all of a sudden he is backsliding. The Lord of that seven shall come to him in a day when he looks not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of. What is this backsliding? When you started well, what is this? This is the context of Matthew 25 about the five foolish virgins. Foolish as they were, they were still virgins. Meaning, a person can backslide when he was a Christian. What is the context? Virgins in their foolishness are still virgins. No one broke their virginity, but still they were waiting for Jesus. But their oil ran out. And the wise ones in verse 25 and Matthew 25, verse 9 says, Go to those who sell and buy for yourselves. Yes, my charamba and Baba Charamba, 100% correct. He went to Wakarasika. Because I will understand. Could the parable, you know, Revachi. I will continue verse 50. Verse 51. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him with his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What is this one? He started well, but last minute he went back. He is going to find his portion in hell. Like the virgins who were foolish, whose oil ran out. What is oil? The Holy Spirit ran out. Jesu wakata ura wakati. Ano kunda kushika kumagumo, acha wanachi corona. So Christianity is about getting to the end. So now, you don't say, uh, oil is not bought. What, 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 what message is that? Now, we are in verse 50. V verse 51. And he shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. So do you see that? Kuna wanu wabar, kuna matanas. Asiba cha zokera sura, asiba cha gumawa wa kushidakwa, no uku upomke. Asiba sina mbo zita. Nema kai, no toti they big slid. Matthew 25 verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. The rest is history. Nyama yoku kocha. My charamba, baba charamba, mkuma na yaka rasika. Mza mtora serious. You people of Zimbabwe who follow this lost young man. Imo shwa zenyu. What is the message of the five foolish virgins? Their oil ran out. They backslid. Still, they were virgins, but waka backslid. Paka zozo kamuenga. Aba nakuwa nakupi, aba nakupinda. Nautiva aba inda kunotenga. That's the message. According to the parable. Thank you.